Hi, today we're going to talk about how spirituality reduces stress. Stress comes from our mind and is in our thoughts and will cause burnout if we don't deal with it. We can't clear out stress because we always have to deal with problems that are unexpected. Therefore, we stop stressing about it and focus on creating peace and happiness. Happiness brings new days and the capacity to withstand pressure, so it gives us the stability and new thoughts to get through tough times. That is why we need an outlet to vent and let go of stress so we can recharge and create happiness. We're not trying to get rid of stress. That creates more anxiety. But just find positive moments to balance out the negatives. It is what we do in the gloomy days that brings the light, joy, and comfort back to our mind and thoughts. Rumi said, If everything around seems dark, look again. You may be the light. Sri Chimnoy says, Listen to the inner light. It will guide you. Listen to the inner peace. It will feed you. Listen to the inner love. It will transform you. Life is too short to stress out, and sometimes our light disappears. But spiritually, spirituality makes us aware of the light again. Spirituality is a process of opening our mind and heart, showing us our unique way to love, accept, and respond to the light, to the world, and to people. It transforms us so we are aware of new possibilities as we inhale and laugh at the as the light comes back, and we are strong and flexible again. The best method to end stress is our mastery to choose one thought over another thought. We can recognize which thoughts keep the focus on what is wrong and causes stress in our life, and which thoughts put, put us on the path to, jo to the joy of living. The light is with us all the time, but how much light uh, we become aware of depends on the thoughts or path we choose. Our stress does not get rid of our despair as it drains us of energy, but it exists only in our mind. So spirituality takes us beyond the mind to see that stress is not the way of life. Stress is not permanent. It changes with how we respond. So don't stress out because the circumstances will change. Rumi said, if you wish for light, be ready to receive light. And he said, The wound is the place where the light enters you. The Bible says, Let light shine out of darkness. Corinthians 4 6. And Bob Marley said, Light up the darkness. We can't control what hap we, we can't control what happens externally, but we can control what happens inside us. So we don't let the external voices overpower the voice within. The individuals we let into our life should help us reduce stress and not be the cause of it. When we silence our mind, we can hear the soul. And when we organize our life around its peace, we heal ourselves. And this peace, we grow from the inside to the external dimension because our soul is the teacher. We just have to pay attention. For this reason, it is recommended to have an open mind and heart because spirituality is falling in love with life, our natural state, where we flow in peace. Therefore, we align our external actions and thoughts with the divinity within, where the divinity within us once accepted, respects, and appreciates the divinity within others. Not, uh, not Han said, or Thich Nhat Han said, to be beautiful means to be yourself. You don't need to be accepted by others. 
You need to accept yourself. When you are born a lotus flower, be a beautiful lotus flower. Don't try to be a magnolia flower. If you crave acceptance and recognition and try to change yourself to fit what other people want you to be, you will suffer all your life. True happiness and true power lie in understanding yourself, accepting yourself, and having confidence in yourself. In nature, every action is effortless, flowing, and beautiful trees grow bent out of the normal shape and are still beautiful. We are human, so we will melt down and get bent out of shape, but we can refocus and get on course as direction is more important than moving quickly. Suffering arises from resistance to what is happening. That is why spirituality develops us with non-attachment, to accept the present moment exactly the way it is and not how we think it should be. Stress comes from being here, but stress comes from being here, but having a desire to be somewhere else. The waves in the ocean rise, crash and break. So the ri so ride the wave. We have to let go. Release our stress and ride it not trying to control the force. We have nothing to gain or lose because we are the ocean of consciousness. So don't be so serious. Enjoy life. It is just activity engaged in for enjoyment. Be in the moment. And, it, and if it is not good, don't worry. It is not permanent. We don't have to live in it and it will pass. When we think the, of the past, we realize we worried about nothing, wasting our time and energy on things not important. Henry David Thoreau said, This curious world we inhabit is more wonderful than convenient, more beautiful than it is useful, and it is more to be admired and enjoyed than used. The Bible says, these things have spoken unto you, that in me you might have peace. In the world ye shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. John 16.33 Matthew 6.19 says, Lay not up for yourselves the treasures upon earth, where moth and rust doth, doth corrupt, and where thieves break through and steal. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt, and where thieves do not break through nor steal. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Ahmed Ray says, If you want to conquer the anxiety of life, live in the moment, live in the breath. Charlie Chap Chaplin said, Nothing is permitted in this wicked world, not even our troubles. Thank you.